Let's say you visit another country. You have an important message to bring. In order to bring that message, you must speak the local language. Meet Yusuf. He lives in Cairo. Like half the world's population, he lives off less than $5 a day. Though he doesn't own a computer, he always carries his cell phone, surfs the internet with his friends, watches films every weekend, and lives in a home where the TV is on all day long. Whether he knows it or not, Yusuf is developing a worldview, a framework that gives meaning to his life. He's learning a language. How is his worldview shaped? Image after image, story after story, hour after hour, his heart is filled with messages from a broken world. He's becoming fluent. If Yusuf is being influenced by the five hours of content he consumes every day, what about Andrea? Every day, Andrea will spend seven and a half hours wired to her cell phone, TV, laptop, and iPod, taking in 11 hours of media. So what does this mean for Andrea? Well, she's becoming an expert in today's language of media. Each day, she will be exposed to 500 marketing messages and dozens of sexual references and acts of violence. She'll be led to believe that she lives in a world without hope, that she'll never be pretty enough, and that she can never be truly loved. How can Yusuf and Andrea discover the true story of their existence? In the midst of the deceptive messages, how will they understand the truth of the God who loves them? Who will translate? We will. But to do so, we must communicate in their language, the language of visual story. Jesus revealed the kingdom through stories related to the everyday lives of people. You and I can do the same, using visual media. Whether it's through cinema or television, computers or cell phones, we must create and use compelling visual media that speak honestly and biblically about the issues of the heart, so the next generation can discover life change through Jesus. For 1500 years, God's people communicated through preaching. In the last 500 years, printing accelerated the spread of the good news. Today, we must also portray the truth of Christ and his kingdom. There is another culture being formed, another world focused on corrupting ideals complete with its own language. Much like crossing a border to reach another people group, we must reach out through the televisions, computer screens and mobile phones of tomorrow's leaders. Together, we must learn to speak to Yusuf and Andrea and countless others around the world with the powerful language of visual story.